Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to model a cell phone holder uh, which could be made of uh, metal, plastics or even you could 3D print it. So we start with 2D sketch, then we pad or extrude to a 3D model and then we add internal such as pockets or slots and then we finish off with uh, rounding of edges. So um, we are going to use a lot of constraints in Sketch. So I have a video created earlier. I'm going to put the links to that. You could watch that and come back to this as well. So let's start with starting with a sketcher. And so we're going to use the XY plane for that. Um, so let's, um, we're going to start with the polyline and trying to draw a free sketch of what we want to make so which is the cell phone folder so we're going to you know it's going to be uh, somewhat of a free sketch right now and i have the uh, on on the right, uh, left bottom you can see i have have the auto constraints on so some of the constraints will be automatically applied uh, but um, you know you need further constraining so uh, so once the now the sketch is um, you know initial sketch is kind of a we kind of a complete that now we want to start adding constraints so going to use the perpendicular constraint of that so that you're going to have a, a nice uh, perpendicular edge then uh, you have to use two eyes for that and then we're going to use equivalent constraints to uh, or the parallel constraint i'm sorry the parallel constraints to uh, so that you're going to maintain uh, constant thickness so um now um, so still there are some more constraints to be added so um, so the when you complete the all the constraints this sketch will you know turn green but now it's still white so that is mean we it is under constrained so uh, we are going to put some angles. Uh, so let's say, uh, let's make it like 75 degrees here. And there are a couple of more um, uh, angles we have to put uh, constraints so that uh, we get the right angles. Uh, okay, so one more here, maybe like, uh, let's say another 75 maybe. Yeah, that's 75. Um, so still the sketch is under constraint okay so you can you know if you want to kind of a, you know you can maybe want to replay it a little bit to see it exactly how it is done but um, you know I'm going to continue to add constraints so I have right now I have added uh, uh, horizontal uh, dimensional constraint um, and then I'm going to add a vertical dimensional constraint to control the thickness it's going to be 1.12 and uh, what you have to do here is so the entire you know the the horizontal vertical or not the vertical but the angular dimension all the thickness has to be 0.12 so now how you do that is you go to uh, angular constraining which is essentially a, a, a point and a line uh, or a vertice and a line constraint uh, and once you um, now you can get the thickness controlled uh, 2.12 and you need to add two more uh, they are also so how you do that is you select the um, the angular constraint and you put you select a vertice and a line so you pick a line and then you pick um, the vertice so I'm going to do it twice so you can see clearly what I am doing uh, so first yeah pick the vertice and then pick the line it's okay so now you got that you change it to point one two um, and then you need to add another uh, uh, dimensional constraint as well so that way we got all the uh, elements to be uh, 
0.12 inch thickness so yeah so we want to do the same thing there so you got to pick a, a vertice and a line again and put the dimensions okay so now everything is 0.12 thickness so that's good so um, if you look at the the left lower box you can see that there is still five degrees of freedom so you need a few more constraints so i'm going to add a uh, vertical constraint uh, put a dimension maybe like 3.1 inches yes and uh, and say okay so you got that uh, and then there may be a few more to be added so yeah let's keep adding them uh, until we get it right so uh, there's some you know there's some problem uh, you can see uh, that is not where i want it to be so i have to uh, kind of move that drag it down so that uh, we get the uh, there's an offset happen so i mean typically these things happen so you have to kind of uh, get around that so you blow that that constraint and you drag it down and now you need to reapply it again so that will fix that problem so you you when you do uh, in free get when you do these uh, constraining you know you're going to run into some issues so you keep keep that in mind so you kind of has to fix that so that's uh, one example of um, something that like that could happen so um, so we we got we are almost a kind of a near to the end a few more uh, dimensional constraints we would be done so one more there so that length needs to be controlled um, so let's say 2.5 inch and there one more as well uh, so you need to add the the cell phones yeah, i would call the resting area so that needs to be added let's say 0.75 inches uh, okay so we got that as well uh, so we i think we have the we have got the sketch constrained but the sketch can move in xy plane so now we need to constrain that as well because we need to have completely fixed so we're going to use coincident constraint to do that so that is uh, now we are kind of a uh, sketch turned into green so everything is constrained um, so we can kind of uh, uh, close it out and get out of the constraint mode um, now what we need to do is add a body uh, we just create a sketch we didn't have a body so we're going to add a body uh, because that's we are going to introduce the 3d feature and then we are going to uh, make select the sketch select padding and then give the thickness so that essentially uh, gives you a, a 3d model so now we are continue to um, go down and add features so what i did next was add a uh, datum line so datum lines are essentially the uh, they are kind of a helping you to uh, draw your sketch um, so that uh, you, or you can use it for constraining as well so now we got that now we are going to link that um, going to use link feature to uh, add the external edges as well as the datum line to the sketch so we are essentially attaching exchange external uh, 3d features to our sketch so that's how you do that because you will see when i'm you know uh, when i start um, putting the sketch together and then um, because i need a completely uh, a slot that is completely uh, the size of the uh, the uh, uh, the face so that's why i uh, pick those uh, edges and attach them to the sketch so um, so this part is 
you know you're cr- essentially creating another sketch so uh, i'm not going to i'm going to go fast and create these constraints um, i mean you can follow on and see what i'm doing um, so i'm going to you know put uh, vertical as well as horizontal constraints first uh, so that everything uh, kind of uh, lined up correctly um, and then uh, we're going to put more constraints so keep keep watching uh, then i'm going to add the parallel constraints now because we want to be in those lines has to be parallel to each other now if you try um, the uh, the uh, if you if you put you know there are in that instance i tried to put parallel constraint on straight line it didn't pick up because i had the um, the, uh, the auto re- remo- remove redundant on so that's why uh, it removed those constraints it didn't apply those constraints so i'm continue to um, put uh, equivalent constraints so that uh, I have a, a, a feature that is symmetric uh, uh, across the symmetric line. So that, that datum line we created earlier. So now what I'm going to do is pick that point and attach that point to the edge. So that will essentially drag the entire sketch and attach it to that edge. So. So that's, um, you, if you want, you can kind of uh, slow it down, uh, play, play it slowly and see what exactly I did. Um, so the, uh, essentially what I did was, um, you know, pick those points and attach it to the edges. Um, and that, that's the reason why we add those edges attached to the sketch earlier. Now I'm going to put the uh, dimensional constraints uh, so kind of uh, coming into the uh, home stretch here uh, on this sketch so there are a few more dimensional constraints uh, we are going to uh, finish this sketch so that's one uh, and then uh, i think i need one more uh, so we're going to put that as well so yeah now cons- essentially the uh, the sketch is fully constrained we can close it out so that completes the uh, that portion of the tutorial um, so i'm going to complete in my next video i'm going to complete the uh, construction of the uh, cell phone holder so if you find it useful uh, please subscribe thank you